Hey, hey, and hey, hey, hey. here we go. Let's hit that. Here we go. Carla was just telling us she was watching us live on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube right now, again, this is just what Carla had going on just the other day. I was setting up this bar right here behind us. We're going to finish that up here in a little bit when we have some leadership going. But let's go ahead. Let's get these cameras set up and dialed in. And we are going to start our workout with, again, we got the breathing motto is going to be the first thing up. We're, there's our studio over there. Look at that bar right there. We're going to be using this in just a little bit uh for our uh, pendulum challenge exercise that's on our app so be ready for that i'm going to fix this up here in a few minutes i'm almost where i want to be with that and here come the bright lights there's our green screen what should we put up on this green screen we have any suggestions from anybody out there does anybody want to see anything awesome see anything cool or amazing or do we want to keep it simple and maybe just go to the beach let's go ahead and find a cool oh i like this one right here remember this picture right here this is a fun one. I really like that picture when it comes to beach pictures. I'd rather that picture than, oh, that looks way too hot. That's way too hot. Let's go to the beach. All right, here we go. Nice job. Who's got their water ready? Are you already drinking water? You already have hydration going? If you do, that's great. You're already a little bit ahead of the game. Remember, we don't want to wait to feel thirsty what is this thing trying to hang on to me? It won't come off. Well, there we go. We don't want to wait to feel thirsty in, until it's too late. We can, you know, we want to try to get ahead of that thirst. And you can do that. Just drinking water, staying hydrated, making sure that, especially if you're eating foods that have a lot of sodium, a lot of salt and stuff, that's going to make you real thirsty too. Um, and so again, we don't want to get dehydrated. We want to get rehydrated. So Ben, how's my audio? Is it sounding good? Mm-hmm. All right, great. I yes, I it sure. sounds good. Thank you. He yeah, I wasn't sure if I got that mouth. microphone. What's that? He has something in his mouth. He can't talk. Oh, he had a little water. snack. All right. Remember, if you need to have a snack during the workout, that's okay. Uh, I also have my electrolyte. You can see it's like a pink, kind of little pink drink. Um, I got electrolytes in here. We had waves for all yesterday. We were at the beach surfing and having fun with our friends. And that's right. You guys remember Chris Hill in the house. Chris had a great time. We went surfing and I'll tell you, I'll let Chris let you know more about it. But me and Chris, we had a most terrific wipeout. And when you do a wipeout in the ocean, remember that's when all of your training and all of your exercise and all of your courage and all your concentration, that's all going to come together for you to help you to be your best. And me and Chris, we got to experience that yesterday. I thought it was outstanding. All right. Um, ben, did, or Carrie, do we have a breathing motto or is it me? Nick is doing it in the beginning. Sounds great. All right, everybody, get ready. We got our team leader, also breathing motto specialist. And um, there we go. We got my focus back there, too. We're going to have Nick and uh, Nick, the team leader. That's what we call him here. And again, Nick brings lots of ideas, a lot of creative ideas. You might be able to do that, too, by watching these workouts. You might start to say, hey, you know, Coach John, I've been learning a lot of different exercises, a lot of different things. I want to start to put together Aww. some combos. There's Carla. She's a team leader. Hey, Carla, how you doing? She's good. Let's get Nick on here. Something weird with Zoom. Here we go. Spotlight on here. There's Nick. Boom, boom. And I'm going to have you up here with me, Nick. Let's do this together. Thank you, John, because I tried to spotlight Nick, and it went straight to the all the boxes at once. Huh. Sorry. Huh. That was me. Oh, I was okay. trying to do it. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Nick. Take it away, man. All right. Five, body, do one. We then the dirt. We then bad. We then the happy. And we then the bad. We then your bed. And we then the wood. And we then your power. Do you we you don't fuck? Yes, nice job, Nick. And some people might have seen me uh, trying to do some sign language. I saw Carla up there doing sign language. I was trying to follow along with her. She was doing a great job. And again, thank you, Nick, for sharing that breathing motto with us. And uh, everybody, remember also Carla is a team leader, and she has uh, taught us quite a bit of sign language during our Friday night fitness socials. 
So let's make sure we get a good warm up in. Remember, everybody, we want to warm our body up from head to toe. We always do kind of this traditional warm up. I like it because it, uh, again, it gets our body warmed up from head to toe. And if it's all we did, um, then this would be good. This would be good. And a lot of these exercises, you know, they would almost be uh, considered relaxing in some cases, you know, not even a, a workout, but a, like a relaxing exercise that almost anybody can do. So let's go ahead and start off with our upside down rainbow. That's going to be our first exercise for our neck. And remember, you can do this one sitting down or standing up. I'm sitting on the stability ball. It's the great big inflatable ball. I'm sitting on that, and that's going to help me with some of my core stability. But if you're sitting down on maybe a couch or in a regular chair, or maybe you're laying down, or maybe you're standing up, again, this exercise is going to be always the same. We're going to bring that chin, and we're kind of moving it all the way around. Nice job. And remember, if you want to say and have questions during the workout, I'm going to have a question here. Remember, we got that chat room. You can type stuff in that chat room, and we have friends. They're watching the chat room, and they're going to see your question, and they'll be able to relay it on over to me. If you want to see a certain exercise or work out a certain muscle, I know in the past our team leader, Carrie, she's been like, Coach John, let's do something for the triceps. And not only have I been come up with an exercise, but then she's come up with some exercises to work out that tricep, the back of our arm. Let's move our head now from side to side. So remember, no exercise is a bad exercise. We just want to make sure we're doing the right exercises and we're doing them the right way. And a lot of times the right way, it, guess what? It's going to be slow. It's going to be slow. A lot of people think exercise and they think I'm moving fast and running sometimes or maybe racing and moving quickly. But a lot of exercise is done very slowly. And now to give you an example, I know a lot of our friends have done some type of martial arts, maybe taekwondo or karate or judo or jujitsu. And remember, a lot of those exercises, you practice slowly. Let's go one more to the left. You practice them slowly a lot. You practice very slowly. But then when you need those muscles to be there, they, they'll be there for you. Let's go ahead and do the down and up. This is, again, still working out our neck. So I'm going to sit nice and tall. I'm going to engage my core, and I'm going to bring my chin down. So there we go, chin down. And then I'm bringing my head all the way up, bringing my chin up high. I'm going to turn sideways here. It gives a little better view with this one. Got my head up high, trying to stay up tall. Now, remember, when I bring my chin down, I don't want my shoulder. I don't want to do that. I want to stay shoulders up and shoulders back. So my shoulders are up and back and my chin is down. And that's a lot different from this. You see the difference? This is my with my chin going down. And then this is going to start to bring my shoulders. And then if I round over, I'm going to start to get all these muscles in and I want to work on my neck. So let's do some up and down. Chin going up. Chin going down. Chin going up. Our chin going down. You could also say your nose. So let's bring our nose, bring our nose up high. We're pointing our nose up in the air. And now let's point our nose at the ground. All right, great job. Three exercises for the neck, two more to go. The next one is going to be the giraffe head turtleneck. So giraffe head, we're going out like we're trying to eat this tree branch here. In the turtleneck, it's like we're going to try to escape inside this little RV bus right here. So remember, we're going to go out with our head, reaching off of our shoulders, bringing my head out, and then I'm going to bring my head back. Here we go. One, two, three. Bringing it back and squeezing my vocal cords. I'm squeezing them really good right now. And here we go. Out again, bringing them out all the way out. I can't even talk like that if I wanted to. Remember, our muscles are going to contract and they're going to relax. And the effect in our neck is going to change up some things. It would be very difficult for me to eat something too like this. But if I had my neck all the way out, it also still might be very difficult to eat something. So remember, we want to have a, a nice neutral head position, but we want to train kind of the forward and back extreme. So this is pretty extreme forward head. 
And here we go, pretty far back. Here we go, bringing it back. Bringing it back, three, two, one, and relax. And then we're gonna have our, our neutral head position, kind of our natural head position. If we find our natural head position, like me, watch this. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Look, look at my head. It's forward a little bit from my shoulders right here. I want my ear, I want my ear to be in line with my shoulder. And so you can use that as a cue. You can have somebody look at you from the side and don't think too much about it. You want to be natural and let tell them, have them tell you, is, does my head look like it's far forward from my shoulder? And maybe your shoulders are forward too. So remember, this is what fitness is going to tell us. It's going to tell us about our body. And then it's going to allow us to make the improvements where we want to make improvements. Let's go ahead and do the last one here is going to be the ear lift. All right. Sounds weird. We're going to lift our ear up to the sky and you can do it. And this is how we give it a try. I had to get a rhyme in there. I was like, come on, come up with a rhyme. All right. So my ears going up, my shoulders going down. We're stretching the side of our neck. And then I'm going to slowly just kind of move over to the other side. And now again, and you can see, you can kind of see that area here getting longer. I'm not leaning my head over here. Let me try not to lean my head over. You can do what I did too. As, as you feel, you'll be like, you might even look at your own screen right now and think, my head looks like it's too far over. Let me try to keep my head in the middle, but just lift the ear. Oh, that, this is me really concentrating on it. Ear lift, ear lift. If you're on YouTube, you'll be able to go back and see the difference. I bet this one's better than two ago because I'm just concentrating. That's it. Earlier, I was thinking about a rhyme and then I'm thinking about the exercises, but now I'm thinking about the ear lift, doing a good job. Three, two, one. And again, getting a nice stretch there. Um, wow, what's a, would be a good question to ask? <sighs> Nick, how many miles do you think this van has on it? I bet over a million miles. These things, they can go forever. I don't know how many miles it has, but remember, when I do the I don't know, I get in my trapezius. I'm going to spin around for this. You're going to get to see in my back here. So I'm all the way. I got my back to you. I'm just staring out at the ocean, and I'm going to bring my shoulders up and down doing the I don't know. So I got my shoulders going up, shoulders going down. Now, when I go down, I'm actually pushing them down. I'm going down more than my normal relaxed position so i got up and down we can start to speed them up a little bit up and down maybe go with just one side going up and down remember we're moving our shoulder blade right here right here that shoulder blade's moving with all of this as this moves that shoulder blade moves let's go to the other side let's move that shoulder blade up and down doing the one shoulder raise all right what about going kind of in a rotation we can do one in rotation alternating Ooh, i like the alternating try that with me if you want to go one and then the other i'm going right and left right and left i'm going to go forward now forward forward like i'm kind of walking forward with my shoulder leading the way taking a step taking a step moving that shoulder moving that shoulder now let's go back and forward Back, remember, you could go forward. You go bring your arms all the way around. Forward, nice. All right, let's do a few more of these. Bringing it back, forward, back, forward. One more, back. I'm going to hold it with the back position so you can see. This is, this, you know, looks a little different from where I normally was because I'm bringing those shoulders back. This would be my more, my more natural position. So remember, we're, we're working our body with having a natural position and then having maybe a position on, on one side of that, that is more difficult, you know, for my arms, my natural position might be just resting them here on my legs. So what would be an unnatural position for the arms being up overhead, being out to the side that would take effort and energy from the shoulders and the trapezius here. So remember, we're going to have natural positions and then we're going to have positions where we're exercising, we're training, we're getting stronger with those positions. All right, we had our shoulders moving. Let's go ahead and move the elbows. I'm gonna start with one elbow at a time and I'm gonna do my right side elbow circle. I'm gonna do about 10, just like this. And then I'm gonna go over to my left side. I'm gonna do 10 with the left side. And then I think I'm gonna do 10 Byron style, do the kayak row. 
That's also on the app's workout today. So we got that going on. Ooh, also got a big app announcement. Should I say it right now? I think so. All right, so remember, if you are on the TrueFit Adaptive Fitness app, okay, as an athlete, there is a new team that's been formed. All right, we're going kayak row stop. The new team is called the Raffle Challenge. And they call, we're calling it the Raffle Challenge because we're going to have a raffle giveaway at the end of the month. And for every workout you do, you get from now, from starting today to the end of the month, every workout you do is one raffle ticket. The more workouts you do, the more raffle tickets you get, and the more chances you're going to have to win the prizes that we're putting together. So we got some gift cards, and we're going to work on a couple other things that we can get to you real easy. And that way you can start experiencing what this fitness is all about. Maybe you need to get some things to make your workouts better. You'll be able to do that. Let's go ahead and go with those arm circles. So if you're not on the app, get on there. True Fit Adaptive Fitness in your Apple and Android. Download it. Become an athlete. And you'll see on there where you can join Coach John's team. You can also join the Raffle Challenge team. And if you're on that Raffle Challenge team, every workout you do this month is a chance for you to win maybe a gift card or maybe some prizes. I got the forward and backward arm circles going here. I'm doing two at a time. I'm going to go to one at a time, kind of feel the difference when I'm doing two arms compared to one arm. Let's do two more here, and then let's go to the other arm, just one at a time. Feel the difference yourself. Notice how you might actually feel like you're doing a better job when you do one, or do you do a better job when you do two? You know, when we do two, we kind of get into a rhythm, and we kind of get into a flow, but it's tough. It's tough on our mind. It's tough on our deltoids. When I do one, I feel like it's not as, as difficult. Even on for this arm, I feel like this arm's not having as much difficulty. So think about that. It's pretty neat. Remember, our brain is communicating with our body. And the more muscles it has to communicate with, again, the, maybe we find that makes an exercise difficult. Or maybe because we're talking with a lot of muscles and we have good teamwork, it's making an exercise very easy. But always remember, always, that your mind is going to be involved in your exercises. So we want to be thoughtful about what we're doing. I already got my hands together. So let's go ahead and now, if we can, we're gonna bring our hands together. You could do the one hand stir, but we're gonna go ahead and start stirring that witch's pot. So this is our outward reach and pull back in. This has us pressing, using our triceps now, pressing our arms out and then pulling our arms back. What muscle, here's a question for the chat room. What muscle pulls our arms back in towards our body what's that muscle called so let's go around remember if you were standing up with this one it's important that we kind of stick out the butt if we're standing up i know it sounds funny but it's important because it's going to get a big group of muscles fired up for us and helping us to balance so i go down and out up and in down and out up and in let's go for 10 down and out up and in one down and out up and in two here we go and three this is the witch's pot or the gumbo pot four here we go five look at this we got even more and more people joining in six this is awesome i love these workouts seven here we go keeping it moving eight going around nine here we go last one four ten nice job all right next up i think let's go ahead and do our teacup combo so teacup combo I'm going to do each one of the moves, though, four times. So we're going to go four times with each move before we go on to the next move. Remember, in exercise, this is called repetition. Uh, when we're working out with Byron, we're working on kind of a flow, combo flow. And when we're working out with Bernie, sometimes we're having repetition. So this is going to be repetition. We're going to do four reps. All right, here we go. So we're going to go teapot going over my head up like that or kind of reaching across the top of my head if i don't want to go over the top i can kind of go across maybe up high high cross i got two more there's three and then number four all right now i'm going twist reach across my body and remember if i'm standing i'm going to let that foot on the ground i'm going to let it twist i'm going to let it twist in the sand here on the beach i got one more to go here twist reach 
All right, coffee pop. We go with a side bend. This is a side bend from the hips. And when you bend this way, you're going to push your hips that way. Your hips go one way and your body's going to go the other. You're going to have a counterbalance. And the last one, this is Sandy's favorite, is we're going down to the ground and back up. And Sandy, if you didn't get the email, I sent you an email. I had to find the medals. I couldn't find the medals. I, I was like, where do these medals go? I found them today. They were in a box underneath another box here in the studio. And so I, I didn't want to send it without the medal. So the medals of Carrie, Byron, and Sandy coming out today. All right. So I did that ground touch. Next up, we're going to switch to the other side. Again, let's go for four. So I got my, there we go, over the head, going for my teacup. Tip me over and pour me out, right? That's what the song said. I'm going to be singing that probably to my baby girl all the time coming up soon. All right. Twist reach. And everybody, it was great. Yesterday at Waves for All was my little baby girl's. It was her first day hanging out at the beach with friends. And she had such a good time meeting all of our different friends and just really getting to kind of soak it all in. But it was so sunny, we had to stay under the tents. We didn't want to get, uh, we didn't want her to have her first sunburn on her first beach trip. But it was a wonderful time. And again, super proud of my friends, Chris Hill and Sophie for getting out there in the water with us. We had a lot of friends too out there. We had probably 30 people come out and surf with us. Here we go. We got teacup, we got the cross reach, or twist reach, we got the coffee pot, and we got that windmill. So I'm gonna go two times to the same side. This is just a nice ground touch. And then I'm gonna go across the body. Look at that, I'm moving, I'm making it all fuzzy on the screen too. I like it. Moving too fast for my camera. All right, good job with that one. Nice stuff. Let's go ahead. Oh, I like that clap. I like, what, is that, what does that make you think of? Maybe clapping up here? Maybe clapping here? Maybe clapping here? And in front? Let's try it again. Let's go behind the head, behind the back, behind the knees, in front of the body. Oh, I got fuzzy. Here we go. Behind the knees. Look at this. Fuzzy me. Behind the back. And fuzzy John. There I am. Back in action. Behind the head. Behind the back. Behind the knees. And in front of the body. Remember, you can also do pat on the head, pat on the, pat on the back, pat on the knees, clap in front. So that's going to give you that reach. We're working on mobility. We're working on flexibility with this exercise. So we're trying to make the, the goal of the clap. That I want you to make that your goal. That way, we're going to give the muscles a job. The job is to reach and get the other hand somehow get that other hand and so now your muscles have a job to do and now we just want to get into that rhythm and we want to see if we can get those hands to reach back and to get those muscles let's go one more here we go behind the head behind the back yeah behind the legs and clap yes nice job bobby nice job pat i don't get to say that too often pat's my mom nice job mom Great job, but she's on here, Pat. All right, we got some, Nick was doing a great job with that one too, I could see it. We got a couple more warm-ups to go. Then we're gonna bring up some leadership. I'm gonna fix something over here that I wanna show for an exercise. And then we're gonna do today's workout. We had the five exercises. And then if you're on the app, you're gonna have a bonus exercise and it's the uh, firework breath from Coach Emily. So that one, you're going to do that. And we're going to do the other ones here in today's workout. So you'll be able to check that off. And again, that's already then one raffle ticket you're going to have for that big monthly raffle. I want to see somebody maybe get 100 raffle tickets. That means you did 100 workouts in a month. That can be done. That can be done. All right. So let's Dad, go ahead. I want to breathe at the end. You want to do breathing at the end? Let's make sure. Yes. If Okay, let's make no, sure nobody else wanted to do it. she cannot do it. Someone else is doing Somebody it. Somebody else got it I for today? I keep telling her that. So maybe on Wednesday. Okay. Good job, Carrie. Yep, good job, Carrie. Carrie's helping us. She is an outstanding co-pilot, and she's up there. Her and Ben, they're flying this show through the internet and bringing it to you. I couldn't do this without them and our leadership. I just love it. All right, next up, let's go ahead and do our wrists. I'm also going to be working on my ankles. Um, and I'm going to bring this thing over here that I was working on because it's actually 
it's close enough to where I can, I can use it and I'll use it even more. So this is the old bar that used to hang up my green screen. And remember how I've talked about sometimes you just need something real simple to be able to allow you to do uh, an exercise. Sometimes you just need a little stability. Let's bring this camera down here just a little bit. You're going to notice a little difference here. There we go. There's the ground. Check it out. There's actual floor here at the, at the beach. In the, oh my gosh. So with this, remember, this is going to allow me to bring that foot up and down side to side and rotation. And you could have, you might have something like a bar that you could hold on to and you'd be able to do this. So let's go ahead and do up and down. So let's go up and down with the wrist, maybe, and the ankle or the ankle. You could do the ankle and the wrist a couple of times. We're going to do about 10 with each one. So here we go. Let's go side to side. So we're cutting it out just like that. And you can see, like I'm holding on to this bar here. If I wanted to work on my balance, I could work on my balance. I could do rotations and I'm not holding on to anything, but my mind is really having to concentrate on this balancing. If I started to think about an algebra problem, let's switch up sides. I might lose my balance. If I had to concentrate on remembering some poetry, I might lose my balance because my mind has to focus to really balance. If I wanted to hold on to something, I could hold on to this little van right here, and that's going to help me to balance my body. So remember, we got up and down. Nice job. Up and down. Get that, get all that technology, all that type in. Let's work it out. Let's get that foot moving. Let's go side to side. Who in here once a day, at least, at least even if it's just once a day, who in here uses technology? We all do. We're all here. We're all using technology. But remember, technology is just a part of how we're communicating. But when it comes to fitness and feeling good, it's still work that we have to do. They haven't created a computer that will make us be in better shape. If anything, the computer just helps us, just like the computers are helping us now. So if we need to balance out the technology time, if we're using our keyboards, if we're using our phones or tablets a lot. We got to think about balancing that time out with exercise, with maybe flexibility training and mobility, all those great things. All right, let's get ready for a breath hold. Let's have a sip of water. Had anybody said water break yet? Yes. I, I imagine somebody had thought it. Yes, they did. They wrote it in the chat. Nice. Good stuff. Everybody, wow, look at that. Whoop, there we are. I'm glad I, that doesn't affect me. Like, you know, I don't feel like queasy when it's blurry. All right, here we go. Breath hold's going to be two breaths, breathing in and out, real nice and easy. The last breath, we're going to do a 10 second hold. And during this 10 second hold, I really want you to think about the air that you've brought in, the oxygen. I want you to think about it in your lungs. And I want you to think about it going from your lungs, going into our bloodstream and going throughout our body. You might even, you might feel the difference. You might feel that air going into your body. Let's get ready for it. Here we go. So we're going to breathe in and out. Just a nice breath. Breathe in and out. We're going to breathe and hold. <sighs> nice job. I, I don't know about you, but I kind of felt like I was a little more connected to that air that was in my body. Remember, the oxygen is going to go into your blood into your blood. It's going to go. That's how things get around our body. Our blood is like a super highway, our blood vessels. It takes all kinds of things around our body. And when we breathe in that oxygen, it's going to take that oxygen around our body. Guess what else the blood's doing? It's moving the CO2 out so that when we exhale out, we can exhale that carbon dioxide. Remember, we don't need that. We don't want that building up in our body. It's going to make us feel different. The oxygen is going to make you feel good. Let's go ahead and do some smiles and frowns and uh, maybe a little home alone at the beach. So here we go. So we're going to go smile, frown, and home alone face. 
do it again. Here we go. Smile. Frown. Home Alone face. Let's go one more time. Here we go. Big smile. Frown. Home Alone face. I like that one. I really do. That's a great exercise. Where we are. We're right on the money, right on the 30 minute mark. I like to have that 30 minute kind of warm up to get us dialed in. Let's have another sip of water. Let's ask our co pilots if they have a leader who's ready to go up. And if we do, if we have a leader who's ready, I'm going to go ahead and get the studio set up so that we can get our adaptive fitness workout on the app. We can get that checked off. Carrie, let's uh, go to Byron first, huh? Let's yes. do it. All right. We got Byron. Do, does somebody want to call? Does uh, Carrie want to call? Carrie is. All right. So sweet. Everybody, this is going to be a special treat. You know, when you're on an airplane, you don't always hear from the pilot, but sometimes you do. Sometimes you got a nice pilot, you know, and when you got a good pilot on there, they're always letting you know kind of what's going on. I think it's terrific. So Carrie's going to do that for us. Byron, it looks like he's getting his uh, tablet set up there. And remember, he's got either a sandbag or the resistance bar. And I'm going to be quiet now, and I'm going to let Carrie and Byron take it away. Your sandbag. Throw it both around. Toss it through your hands, both hands. Left, right. Left, now your right. Your left, now make it to your right. Left, right, around your back, toss, toss, around your back, left, twist, up in the air, toss, 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 toss. Toss through your legs, through your legs. Toss in your hands. Turn to the side. Put your arm out. No trick. Move the beanbag through the hands. On the floor, on the floor, on the floor. On the floor, floor, floor. Now back up. Now forward. Back up. Now do a turn. Driving a car like you're driving a car. Drive a car. Drive a car, drive in a car, on the floor, toss, toss in your hand, <clears throat> toss, toss to your chest, outwards, to your chest, outward, to your chest, outward. Around your back, on your shoulder, on the other shoulder, on the other shoulder, on the other shoulder, on the floor, tossed in your hand, tossed on your back, lean down on your, it's on your back. <clears throat> twist twist to the other side toss toss like you're tossing like you're tossing like you're tossing 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 on uh, in the other hand you're tossing you're tossing, you're 
on the ground, throw through your hand, get your stick. Which, now, kneel down, put the stick on your knees, up in the air, stand, no, bend back down, back up, back down, back up, now, Baton spin, baton spin, baton spin, baton spin, baton spin, baton spin, kneel down, up. Now, pot. the witch's pot. Do the witch's pot back and forth, around and around, 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 around. Up, all right, towards the camera, now back, Towards the camera, back, towards, do a jump, uh, your knees up and down, your knees, your feet, like your feet, your feet, drumming to the beat. A lumberjack. There you go. Now, back, forward, back, on the other shoulder, forward, back, forward. Now turn up, put your stick in the air. Now, back up in the air, down. Baton spin, put the stick behind your back. Bend down, bend down, up in the air. Bend down, back up. Bend down. Back up. Baton spin. Baton spin. Baton baton spin. Baton spin. Baton spin. Baton spin. Coming home. Okay, coming home. Put your hands down the stick. Now up the stick. Now back down the stick. And we're done. Thank you, Carrie. You are so welcome, Byron. Outstanding. Byron and Carrie. Oh, my gosh. What a wonderful, wonderful routine. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, everybody. It looks like we got a studio, and it's right here, uh, right along the water. It looks like we're maybe in Malibu or something now. And, again, great job. So I saw Natalie and Mark. Qtar7, Alicia, great job with that exercise. Sandy, Caitlin, we got some really good friends on here. Our buddy Arthur and Donald's on here. Everybody, there's Jasmine. I'm so happy we got so many of our friends on here. Let's have a water uh, sip, break. maybe a water break. Again, Byron, outstanding job. We're going to get our camera set up here just a little bit better. That's all right. And I got to get my phone. Where's my phone? It's over here. Remember, we're talking about technology. Oh my gosh, you know, how many times a day do we go to our phones? Well, maybe instead of getting on some of the, that we've talked about, the time-wasting apps that just kind of 
they keep us occupied, but they really don't improve our bodies and our minds. Well, we can get on True Fit Adaptive Fitness app and we can actually engage on this app and do things that are going to improve our bodies and our minds. So remember, when we have that workout on here, we got a workout called this. Uh, today's called Five Skills and Fireworks. We got five different exercises on there, plus the firework arms breathing exercise. So I'm going to go on my athlete profile here and switch over to that. The main thing I wanted to show from today's workout, and this is something if you are a family member, if you're a staff member, if you're somebody who wants to create a lot of these exercises, one thing that I'm always trying to find is a nice bar that you can hang like something from. And that's what we have here. So uh, as some of y'all know, we have the green screens right here, and it used to be held up by these little uh, kind of tripod stands. Now, if you're thinking, Coach John, where can I find a tripod stand? If you went to a thrift store, you would probably find a lot of camera tripods and like telescope tripods. Everybody thinks they're going to be a cameraman and a, an astronomer and they get the equipment and then they don't use it and they donate it. And then you can get it for maybe like three or four dollars for a tripod. And if you had two, you could do what we've done here. So check this out. We have a tripod stand. Now we're not going to make it any taller than this, but you can see what we got hanging there from it. And Ben, do you remember this exercise? Oh, yes. So this is one that Ben really excelled with when it came to working out with both of our arms. Now what I'm doing up here is I'm putting on what's called a little wing nut. This little, they call it a wing nut because it has these little wings. And these are great because you can, you can tighten them up with your hands. And now if I lift this whole thing, you can see it wants to come up here. We'll tighten these up. There we go. And now the whole thing kind of can move around if I needed to put it out of the way or I could put this out of the way and it wouldn't take up much space. But the whole concept with this, and let's set it up right about there so we can see. The whole idea with this is we want to be able to have a pendulum. Now, who knows what a pendulum is? Maybe like a, a grandfather clock or something like that. Maybe you're familiar with that. And so here we're going to point some lights over this way. But if you remember when those thing, when, when something swings and it's a tied to a, a rope, it's going to have uh, just so much range of motion. So a uh, range of movement. So if we can set this up and then I can set up my chair and if I was standing, I'll show you how we can do. If I want to set up my chair now, now, if we look at this, this ball, it cannot hit me. It, it can't. It's right here. It's not going to get to me. If I let go of this ball, it's going to swing that way and it's going to swing right back at me. And I know, and you know, it's not going to hit me. But you know what's neat is my mind is still going to perceive that ball coming at me as a threat. And there's a chance that I might be able to fire up some muscles to protect a very important part of our body. Remember, our neck and our face. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold that ball up here right in front of my nose. I'm going to touch it with my nose. There it is. My nose has gotten it. I'm going to let go and I'm going to do nothing. There it goes right at me and then at me again. But again, look, it's not, it's not getting any close to me. It's just swinging in the air back and forth. And perfect. Remember, now I learned that this is not going to hit me. It's not going to get me. And if I want to set this up real nice. So now what I want to do is I'm going to start working on actually making contact with the ball because I have a relationship now. I know it's not going to hurt me. But here it comes. And so I want to start to do is start to maybe just reach up and just tap that ball away. So I'm going to push on that and just tap it away. And I'm just working on one hand right now with my right hand. If I wanted to switch this up, I could go with my left hand. And remember, no matter how hard I push that ball, it can't get me. Even if it starts swinging all around, it's not going to get me. So I don't have to worry about that. I just want to try to keep it going back and forth right to me. Once I get really good with this move, I might even work on, and this is where Ben was really excelling, is actually reaching up and just catching that ball. Getting your mind and getting your body to think about all the things that need to be done. I not only have to re raise my arm up, but I have to find the ball in the air. I have to get it with a couple of my fingers, maybe even just two fingers. If I get it with two, yep, I got it with two. So remember, you got to at least have two fingers to reach on and to grab that ball right there. And if you're able to grab it with your whole hand, that's great. You could probably grab this with your elbows. Hoop, yep, awesome. This is another good move. So now again, I'm working out what my shoulders, 
Oh, I missed that one, but that's okay. Catching it. So remember with pendulum ball, well, this is kind of neat. I can raise this up. Even if you're in a standing position, now, not everybody's going to have a tripod stand thing like this. I understand that. But if you have the access to a thrift store, there's a good chance that you'll be able to find um, the tripods that they use for cameras. Now, if I was standing up with this exercise, I'm going to move my chair back here. And again, I got the ball. I'm going to face the ball now right at the camera. Let's see how close. There we go. So we got the ball right here. It's hanging from the bar right above my head. So you can see that right there. Let's keep that bar in sight. And I had to make this work. I use duct tape. Duct tape can make a lot of things work for you. So if I have this pendulum ball, again, I'm going to get it going and I'm going to start giving it a tap and start giving it a tap. Now, if I'm doing pretty good with this, what I want to start to maybe do is maybe I'm going to do something like a squat, squat and then tap, squat and then tap. So I'm trying to squat before the ball gets back to this side over here. Nope, I see I missed one right there. Oh, and now it's now I'm going quick. Now I'm going, I got to start moving. I got to start grooving. If you're somebody like, again, we have a friend on here, Alicia, the black belt. This is something that, again, we can work on if we're not having it super perfect right here. So we can do the push. We can do a push. We can do a push. We could do an elbow. We could do a push. We could do a knee. We could do a push. We could do a kick. But the whole time, we're just trying to work on our mind, our eyes, working on this coordination. Now, if I was visually impaired, this is still an activity that I would be able to do. Why is that? You're saying, but if you can't see it, how do you know? Because remember, it's on a pendulum. So we do know where that ball is going to be. We know it's not going to get me here. So if I was visually impaired, I might want to work on this to be able to work on, again, finding that object, seeking that pattern, and trying to find, again, that constant tap, just bringing it forward. So here we go. Just giving it a tap moving it around. Now, one other way you can do this, and I really, again, I like this, I like this activity a lot, is with something like a sandbag, like what Byron had just a moment ago. If I had that sandbag, and I really like this one, if I'm in a seated position, because I might sit down through here, and I might reach up to hit that, hit the ball now, and I want to get it swinging, so I'm going to keep hitting it. There we go. I'm going to try to get a, a nice big swing. I'm just, I'm really hitting it. I'm going to try to get it to swing all the way around. Let's see if I can get that. Now, if you're sitting at home with me, let's practice. You're doing a two-hand push. And I got it, my sandbag here. I can't, oh, I can't get it to go all the way. Look at that. It's getting so close. Oh, and now look, I'm doing an overhead reach. Oh, and I got it around. Nice. So I can come up with a game with this. Let's go ahead and finish that off. There we go. Got that up there. But that also just gave me, I did about 15 or 20 kind of quick overhead press moves. So this is something I haven't been able to show even when we were at North Shores. We're talking over two years, I've been wanting to show how we can set up a pendulum setup. And it never dawned on me that we have all these tripods around here. And today I realized that this is something we can do. And so again, you can probably set up something like this at home. This is a great activity. You can work on endurance. You can try to maybe do a hundred taps. There's a lot of other ways. Even something like this, where I'm going to start working on my stick ball activity. Let's see if I can get this. So I'm going to give it a hit, and I'm going to start working on. And now this doesn't have to be a tennis ball. This could be a soccer ball with a string in it. Basketballs don't work too good uh, with strings in them, but soccer balls do, and, and volleyballs kind of hold up. Uh, and again, I'm just working on. Now I'm going to, I'm going to try to not pay attention. I'm going to kind of look around, and I'm, not, I'm looking at the camera. And I'm still hitting the ball. I'm actually just surprised myself. There we go. You can, you can see I'm looking over here. Oh, and it, again, so even if we make a mistake, even if we don't get it perfect, that's okay because the pendulum is going to allow us to always be in a safe position. If you want to kind of get up, you can do a fun little spin around. If it gets spun around on you and you can't get it, though, you might have to ask somebody to help you get it unspun or you might need to get something to help you to unspin that. So that is a favorite exercise of mine. That's the pendulum pass. That's on the app. And we can now check that one off. So remember, we had on here, we had firework breath. There's bouncy ball bottle circles, uh, bouncy ball body circles, bar leg swings, body weight line jumps. There's the pendulum pass right there with Byron. There's that move right there. There's the videos on YouTube. 
And there's the pictures right there, Byron doing the pendulum pass. If you wanna watch the video on YouTube, remember a black screen means the video is on YouTube. All right, let's do the next one, bouncy ball body circles. All right, this has our friend Michael, again, showing us how it's done. We're gonna pass that bouncy ball or that foam ball around our body. And so let's get this checked off. So I got my foam ball here. I'm gonna use a foam ball today instead of a rubber bouncy ball. And let's go ahead and if you don't have a ball, you're gonna work on tapping yourself on the back of the head, tapping on the back, and then tapping on the back of the knees. And also I'm gonna be passing the ball around. So I pass around my head, passing it around my head. You could also do this with an exercise pillow. Absolutely, this exercise, you could do it with an exercise towel also. I'm gonna reverse directions. I'm gonna go this way now. So I'm going back, both arms go back. And then one arm hands off the ball to the other arm. Let's do two more of these, one and two. Let's go now around our body. So around our, our waist, around our core, around our abdominals. We have a lot of muscles in our core, remember, that keep us upright. Let's bring it around the other way. Switching it around, switcheroo. Nice stuff, good stuff. Moving around. I see a lot of you right now doing this exercise with me. I love that. I love that we get to work out together. All right, the last one with the body circle we'll do right now is just going around two legs. Now, if you wanted to really have a challenge, you could try to do this around one foot. So I can bring one leg up. I could pass the ball around. And this is what my buddy Landon does. You guys have all seen Landon. You guys have all seen Cole. Cole doing his 5K workout, 5K run. Well, Cole does this exercise and this is how he does it. But when he started, this was how he first started. He would go down, pass around, that would be one. Down, pass around two. Let's do five of those. So this is how we might start this exercise. Going down and trying to pass it around behind the knees. And I'm gonna go one more, go in this direction. Again, there's a lot of ways we can move this body around our body, body move this ball around our body. Um, so try those out. I got tongue, tongue twisted there. All right, where's the phone? What's the next exercise? Oh, I, who saw me set my phone down? No? Did you see where a phone went, Ben? Oh, there it is. It's on the rope. We put a, a black phone over here on the, the rope and we couldn't, couldn't see it. All right, next exercise, the bar leg swings. I did some of this earlier, remember? Uh, where I was holding onto the bar, but you can swing. Remember, we can swing our arms, or if we want to hold on to something, we're going to swing our leg. So let's go ahead. Oh, almost kicked that ball. Let's go ahead and just keep on swinging that leg. And remember the swinging motion. Again, think about the pendulum ball, how it just kind of swings. It just swings back and forth. I want you to get a nice fluid motion. Now you can put your hand on a wall or you can put your hand on a countertop. If you had a little portable basketball goal, which nobody does, but if you had something like that, you could hold on to it. That's gonna help you do the bounce. It's tough to do the leg swings when you're balancing. And let me show you, if, if you're trying to stand there and do this, you can see my body, it's gotta do a lot. It's gotta do a lot of work and it's really gonna be more of an exercise for the leg on the ground. So I wanna work the leg that's up. I want it just to swing nice and free. And so that's what we got going on here. That's the leg swing. Let's see what we got next. Uh, ooh, kayak row from Byron. We had that. And so we're going to do that one more time. And then the last one's going to be our body weight line jumps. That's actually going to be an endurance challenge. And so remember with the kayak row, we were reaching out and pulling in. Byron's got this move going here. If you don't have a wooden, wooden dowel or a resistance bar, you can do the elbow kayak row. Or you can do like a one arm, kind of one arm back and one arm forward. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm going one arm back, one arm forward. It takes one or two to kind of get the rhythm. But once you, once you got the rhythm, try to stay in the rhythm. And let's go ahead and let's do 30 kayak rows. Three, zero. Here we go. In three, two, one, and row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Remember, you can also go backwards, forwards and backwards. This is a great exercise. It's like you have an axis on that dowel right there. All right, and for our last exercise, I'm gonna use the wooden dowel. That's how we have it on the app. But you only need to think about is what you're gonna have a line on the ground. Now, if you're sitting down, I want you to think about doing a double fist pump over a line. If you're sitting at a desk or something, you could even imagine you got something above you and you're gonna go up and over. So we're gonna go up and over. My hands are gonna go up as high as they can for that jump. You're gonna bring those arms up as high as you can, bring them back down. You might go all the way up, all the way up and then forward, all the way up and back, doing a boost, a boost. You're gonna use your core to do that move. If you're standing up, I want you to practice with me. We're gonna jump over the line. So to jump, you know, we gotta bring our arms back, bend our hips, and then we're just gonna do a jump over the line, just like that. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna go again. Jump, turn around, we're gonna go again. Jump, we're gonna go to 10. I've already done three. So I'm gonna swing my arms and then I'm gonna let my body fly. The trick is to really swing the arms. And you might end up doing this. That's okay. If you do that in the beginning, that's okay. So watch, I'm going to swing my arms and I kind of had one leg lead the way. If you can though, you want to go with both feet going over that bar. Now, if you're like, I don't want to do the jumps, you, that's okay. You can do it with a nice powerful step over, a power step. That power step, it's going to eventually help you to create that momentum and it's going to take you over. Now watch my foot as I as I bring my arms up, it's like my arms lifted my foot. And so when I'm doing my jump, I want the energy, let's do two more, to come from my arms. And jumping is tough. Jumping is tough because I weigh, I weigh about 185 pounds. 185 pounds, that is heavy. That's heavier than most, most dogs out there. You know, if you had a real big dog, but you know, a little dog doesn't weigh that much. I weigh 185 pounds. If I got to jump, I got to lift all of that against gravity. You know, we were talking about gravity last week. I got to take 185 pounds and go against gravity. I got to create enough energy to lift all this 185 pounds. That's tough to do. So jumping, jumping can be a really good cardiovascular exercise. All right. So you can do that for make your heart strong. You can make your lungs strong. You can also make your muscles very strong with jumping. And again, you're working on that, that pattern to create the jump. So everybody, that, remember, those are the exercises. Go ahead and practice them again one more time. And you have one more exercise on there. And that's the firework breath with Coach Emily. I'm going to leave that one for you and her to do on the app together. So remember, get on that TrueFit Adaptive Fitness app on your Apple and Android stores. You can join my team. You can join the workout raffle team if you haven't already. Join that raffle team because somebody, multiple people are going to win prizes at the end of this month. And I'm super excited about that. Everybody, let's well, have one more sip of water. The prize. One more sip of water. The prizes we're going to have uh, gift cards and I'm going to try to get hula hoops, medicine balls, I'm going to try to get a lot of the things that we use in our workout. I want you to be able to win it. I want you to be able to win fitness and by using fitness. To, so you don't have to buy a raffle ticket. You earn a raffle ticket. And if you're willing to put in the work, then we're willing to put in the gear to get you to where you want to go. Are we having, um, who was doing the breathing motto at the end, Ben, Gary? Carla. All right, everybody. Let's get ready. We have a breathing motto to finish us off. Again, great workout today. On Wednesday, I would expect some leadership from Nick, from Bernie, maybe Alicia, the black belt. We're going to have some leadership coming from the three of you. And again, Byron also wants to try out a triple combo. Byron, great job. Everybody give Byron a round of applause for today. That was excellent. And here's Carla, Carla with our breathing motto. Hi, everybody. All right, Carla, take it away. One, two, three, four. Bring the good. Bring the bad. Bring the happy. Bring the sad. Be your best. 
Be in the worst. Be in your power. So use girls first. Nice job, Carla. That was incredible. That was so great. Again, um, Coach thank John, you. I have thank a question you. for you before we leave. Um, Is it a fitness can, question or do you want to wait till till after we go off? Can we go off? <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Great job. We're about to leave. So Carla, hold on to your question. And remember, everybody, we have two more workouts Wednesday and Friday. Be here for those. And if you want to do some leadership, you got to let us know on YouTube or on Zoom. Great job to our pilots, Ben and Carrie. 